What is it? Voices. Millions of them. There's no such thing as too many superheroes. Hi, I'm Tom, and this, this is Injustice 2. Sequel to the best fighting game I've ever played. Which, to be honest, is not saying much, because to this day, I've only played three. But that does not mean that Injustice 2 is not a great game. It most certainly is. And it is a great follow-up to its predecessor. The graphics got an upgrade, there's more characters than in the last, and not to forget, the story is above average as well. But let me know in the comments, do you think Injustice 2 is better than Injustice 1? I would really like to know. But for now, let's dive in. Let's start off with the story, which consists of about 50% good writing, voice acting and cutscenes, 20% fighting and actually gameplay, 20% cheesy dialogue and one-liners, and 10% sick burns and cruel roasts. You're just dying to hurt me, aren't you, Tin Man? It won't bring back what you lost, especially below the waist. All jokes aside, I actually really liked the campaign of Injustice. The characters were all introduced with their own problems or situations they had to deal with, and if you've played Injustice 1, which I had, you actually can relate to them on a deeper level. You understand their motives and goals, which is critical in a good story. It might also be the reason why I played the entire thing in one sitting. Brainiac is the bit bad in the story. It is the second reason why I actually really like the story. Because Brainiac is not some morally conflicted idiot you're supposed to sympathize with. He is pure evil, who commits genocide just because he wants to. No compromises. And although the story is as predictable as the expiring date on a carton of milk, it is, as, it is good enough not to get annoyed by, and you will happily play it once or twice. The fighting, or actual gameplay as I like to call it, is beyond good. It's fucking great. It's like every punch you make breaks the sound barrier. You can punch people so hard they go back in time and create an infinite time loop. That's how hard you can punch. However, you need to put in some serious hours to learn all of those moves and how to best use them together. The combos you can change will make you scream at your opponent and will make you trash talk as soon as you get the chance. Which is nice, because I played against my good friend Vegas and there was a lot of trash to be talked after we did about 50 games and the win-lose ratio was exactly split. That is why I would also definitely recommend buying this game with a friend or person you hate so you can virtually punch him to death and show them one of those cool character outros while you're at it. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> that was very good. Very good. The content for the rest is exactly what you would expect from this game. Some single player matches against AI with custom cutscenes at the end, which are nice, but not incredible. You as well have an extreme amount of customization, which was not in the first game, but I also like. And thank god there's also local multiplayer, so you can smack the shit out of any nephew who thinks he's better than you. Put them in their place. <laughs> Now, there's only a few negatives I find worth mentioning. Match stability, connection-wise, is good, but most certainly not perfect. In a couple of cases, my games with Vegas were slightly interrupted by lag spikes, but in one case, the game became unplayable for a few minutes. So be aware, especially if you have banned internet. Secondly, the campaign is enjoyable and good, but only if you manage to turn off your brain for a little while. Because the first game had some strange nanotechnologies to explain away the strength differences between the characters, but in Injustice 2 they didn't, they didn't even bother with that, which made it often look like Batman, a regular human, was as strong as Superman, which is basically a demigod. But in that case I could just talk about how the Flash is the best character I've ever seen and he can kill anyone and save the day before he can even blink an eye, he's so fast that no other ability even matters, why couldn't they just call a Flash the game and make him the lead character seeing that no one can match his speed force, oh my god I love the Flash! Injustice 2 is a great game, made for everyone who loves superheroes or fighting games. The graphics, sound design and story and gameplay is all just as good as the first game, if not better. And if you were remotely interested in getting this game, you have no excuse not to buy it. The multiplayer has small lag issues and the story can be a little bit cheesy at times, 
but those small problems are heavily outweighed by the overwhelming positives. It is not often that I had such high hopes for a game and they were actually met. It must be really obvious by now, but Injustice 2 is definitely worth the money.